So your Google My Business listing has been ranking very well on Google Maps for weeks, months, maybe even years. And it keeps bringing new local customers to your business until one day, shock horror, the party's over and the phone stops ringing almost overnight. You open a browser window, search for a keyword, your Google My Business listing usually ranks number one for, and realize it's not even in the top 10 results and you don't know what to do. This scenario is very common and is likely to happen to anyone running a Google business profile at some point. If it's already too late, here is your first tip. Stop panicking, as you might be able to recover sooner than you think. Whether it's happened to you already or you want to anticipate the worst, this is what I recommend you do first. I know this sounds silly, but before jumping to the conclusion your Google My Business rankings have dropped off the map, just because you've done a couple of searches and couldn't find your business is not enough. If you use a local rank tracker tool such as Bright Local or WhiteSpark, just log in and check that your rankings haven't taken a beating and came crashing down. This should put your mind at ease. Maybe only a couple of keywords you are tracking have dropped, so look at these in more details. If you don't use a rank tracker tool, sign in to your Google profile account. From the left-hand side menu, click on Insights. If you're familiar with the Insights report of your listing, you might be tempted to check the graph that shows where customers view your business on Google. Don't. While logically a sharp decline would indicate that your listing is no longer appearing as much in search results, could mean your rankings have dropped, this could be a red herring. This graph only shows the number of times your listing appeared on maps and search results regardless of where it ranks. Instead, scroll back up and click on the See New Profile Performance Report. This will show you the number of calls and messages you received through your listing, driving directions requests, website clicks, and which keywords have triggered your listing to show in the results. Any significant drop on all of these metrics will be a strong indicator the rankings for your core keywords have gone down. Hopefully you have set up Google Search Console for your website. If you haven't, I recommend you do it today. If you have, log into your dashboard from the left-hand side menu, click on Performance, then click on Search Results. Select a long date range and make sure the Total Clicks and Impressions tabs are selected. Don't bother with the other two. A sharp decline in these metrics would be a strong sign your rankings have been affected. If you set up a tracking URL on the website link of your Google listing, you can also have a look at your Google Analytics report to find out if the traffic coming from it has been impacted. A big reduction in traffic will also be a strong indicator that your rankings have taken a hit. As a side note, Google Analytics will consider visitors who click on your website link as organic visits. Unless you use a specific URL on your listing, which can be tracked, you will not be able to see it in your report like it is displayed on my screen. If you're interested in finding out how to set this up, let me know in the comments below. Finally, manually check the rankings of your core business keywords on Google Maps to verify your assumptions are correct. Once you're confident your rankings have actually dropped, your next step is to understand what really happened so you can address it ASAP. Here are some of the most common reasons why it may have occurred, along with some recovery tips to help you get back on track. Google updates its algorithm around five to 600 times per year, so it can provide more useful and relevant results to searchers. While most of these changes don't significantly change the SEO landscape, in some cases they can have a dramatic impact on search results. One of those major changes for small business owners is a drop in rankings of their Google listing in local search results. Unfortunately, Google doesn't tell us when these algorithm updates take place, so it can be difficult to figure out if they are the cause of a drop in rankings. Thankfully, the good people of Bright Local have built a tool called RankFlux, which monitors local ranking fluctuations. This one-of-a-kind tool tracks daily ranking movements across 14,000 plus keywords to measure volatility and identifies suspected algorithm updates. It's completely free and very easy to use. The dial in the middle of the screen will display a score between 1 and 10 based on those 14,000 keywords tracked in the last 7 days. The higher the score, the more likely an algorithm update took place. If you scroll down, you can filter the results by date and industry types, which is very useful. 
For example, if I set a date range to look at the past six months of data, you can see that in early December 2021, the score went all the way up to 6.2, which turned out to be Google's biggest local search algorithm update in five years. Many business owners saw their Google listing rankings plummet as a result and didn't realize it was because of an algorithm update and were probably scratching their heads wondering what happened. So if your ranking suddenly dropped, go and check this tool first. You can even set up an alarm via email to be the first to know when an algorithm update has been detected. The question is, what should you do if the algorithm update was the root cause of your problem? Depending on which tools you have at your disposal, dig deeper in your data to find out which keywords have been affected the most in both organic and mapped results. Find out how it impacted your traffic and mostly your leads. As a result, you might need to update your web pages that used to rank high with more quality content or even create new pages to target additional keywords. Trying to get more external links pointing to your site might also be a good idea. But what if the algorithm is not the root cause of your ranking drop? Let's have a look at another common reason why this may have happened to you. In case you didn't know, when showing local businesses in its search results, Google uses a filter to eliminate listings that can be deemed as too similar, duplicate or spammy. This means that even if your listing is legitimate, it might sometimes not rank as well as it should or be removed from Google's search results altogether. Google uses specific criteria to automatically filter out listings. For example, if you run a business with multiple locations, your listing will likely share the same business name and website address as in this example for a hair salon. Because of the similarities between listings, Google might filter one of them, which used to rank well in favor of another one, which would result in a massive ranking drop. Proximity to other businesses doing the same activity as you may also cause your listing to be filtered out. It's not uncommon to see competing businesses in the same building, like in this example, where you can find five different personal injury lawyers at the same address. Google may filter one or more of these listings in its results so it can present a better variety of businesses to choose from in that location. To find out if your listing has been filtered for a keyword you are targeting, do a search on Google. If you can't see your listing in the map pack results, click on more businesses. Scroll down the list on the left hand side to find out if you can see your listing. If not, put the mouse pointer near your business location and zoom in slightly using the wheel of your mouse. If your listing only appears then, it's likely because it's being filtered. So what should you do? The fastest way to get your listing unfiltered is to work on strengthening your website for your targeted keywords. Make sure you add relevant content to your pages, especially the page your listing links to. Additionally, you'll want to work on getting external links pointing to that page, which will build more authority overall. Let's move on to the next reason your listing may have lost rankings. Did you know you can edit any Google business listing you want in search results? Here is how it works. Log into your Google account, then head over to Google Maps. Search for a keyword, then click on a random listing. You should see an option that says suggest an edit. From there, you can change the name of the business, the opening hours, the phone number, the categories and more. Some of these changes can create havoc with your rankings. Sadly, some malicious competitors may use this technique to bring your business down and change some key information on your listing without you knowing. For example, since the business category of a business listing is a key ranking factor, swapping it for something less relevant could result in major ranking drops. In some cases, some of your competitors may even go as far as marking your business as permanently closed so you are no longer visible on Google Maps. Thankfully, these edits don't automatically get published on your listing as it will depend on who has made them and how trustworthy they are. Someone like a Google local guide who has been making edits for several years on multiple listings has more chances of their suggestions going through than a random user who has only done it once or twice. To avoid any nasty surprises, it's important you monitor your listing regularly. Log into your Gmail account associated with your listing and bring up your listing in search results. Wherever someone suggested an edit, you should see an orange message next to it. Just click on the suggestions and answer the question correctly. 
These messages will then disappear. If the edits have already been published, you should receive a notification from Google via email. Make sure you revert back to the correct information. Time to move on to another reason why your rankings might have dropped. When you initially created your Google My Business listing, one of the first questions you were asked was if you wanted to add a location customers can visit like a store or office. When choosing this option, you needed to add the address of that location to your listing, which displays on your panel, along with a pin marker on the map. Many of you, however, do not operate from a brick and mortar location and instead serve customers at their homes. Typical examples would be plumbers, electricians, pest control specialists, and so on. In this case, instead of adding a physical address to your listing, you should specify the areas in which you operate. When you do, your business panel doesn't show an address and instead of a pin on a map, you will see the border of the area in which you're able to travel to customers. This is the theory anyway. In practice, many of you who serve customers at their homes have opted to show an address regardless, which typically is your home address. You may or may not know this is against Google's guidelines and technically you should remove the address from your listing altogether. The problem is the local algorithm that powers Google My Business listing was built around the Google Maps pin. Therefore, Google seems to favor businesses with a physical location in ranking results. This is a very speculative statement on my part, but seems to be supported by many local business owners who have shared their experience in local SEO forums. After removing the address from their listings, their rankings collapsed. If you fall into this scenario, you have two options. Either you take the hit and wait until your rankings recover, or you revert back to showing your address even though it's against Google's guidelines. I won't tell you what to do and leave this decision into your very capable hands. Moving on to the next reason why your rankings may have disappeared. Sometimes it is necessary for a business to move to a different location. Since your business location is probably the most important ranking factor of all, moving to a different area will unquestionably impact your rankings. If you are planning on relocating or have just gone through the process, don't be surprised to see some of your rankings crash. Thankfully, it's not all bad news. Although your rankings for the old location will disappear, you should gain new ones for the new area you move to. The new competition you are facing in your new location will determine how high your listing is ranking. This is very difficult to predict and you will only find out when you move. To put all the chances on your side, remember to update your website content accordingly with the details of the new location as well as update your local citations in all major directories such as Yelp, Bing, the BBB and so on. If you've gone through all these checks and still can't figure out why your rankings tanked, I suggest you contact a local SEO expert who should be able to run a full audit of your listing and your website and find out what really happened. I hope this was helpful. Please remember to like the video or ask questions in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.